Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the most wonderful name, the most precious name, the most beautiful name on the face of the earth. That when we are in in, in need, we are, we're desperate, we're struggling, we can call on the name of Jesus. Praise God. You know, it's because of Jesus that I can have peace in my heart. I can have joy and I have meaning and purpose and life abundantly and life eternally praise God and he's doing the same thing for so many others and he's able to do the same thing for you and maybe you've lost faith maybe you, your faith has been weakened or maybe you know the enemy has come against you and really pummeled you to the ground and you're struggling but I want you to know when I call on Jesus all things are possible when I call on Jesus when we call in the name just like this man this blind beggar as you know he was told as Jesus of Nazareth is passing by and the Bible says he cried out and he said what did he say Jesus son of David have mercy on me and then the Bible tells us that there were people there they were in front and, and they rebuked him they rebuked him they told him be silent be silent and you know that's um very representative of what goes on in the world there are people in the world who would not want us to call on Jesus you know, there are many in the world who would not want us to call on Jesus. They're saying, be silent, be quiet. Don't you call on that name. Don't you call on Jesus. Satan is behind them. The enemy is behind them. But it could be our own relatives. It could be people from maybe a, a, a religious past. Or it could be um, our, our friends. Or it could be academics, so-called academics, you know, influential people. People from Hollywood or, or, or Bollywood or, or politicians and so on. Or the, the academic elite, wherever you are. They are, everyone is trying to, 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 to quelch us to, to say that, well, listen, no one should call on the name of Jesus. They said, be quiet be quiet telling him to be silent but he cried out all the more he was not gonna have any of that because he knew that for all his life everything else he has tried no one came to help him and here was the possibility of a miracle here was the possibility of someone who can help him and he has heard about Jesus what he did and so he the Bible says us he cried out all the more he says son of David son of David Jesus have mercy have mercy on me and there are times that we may cry out to God and, and, and we don't get the answer right away. Don't give up. Don't give up. It doesn't pay for us to give up. We need to keep calling on the name of the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord. And it's about what the Bible says. And Jesus stopped. And Jesus stopped. He's walking. He's going on his way. Doing what he's doing. But when this man cried, and he cried again, Jesus heard a desperation. Jesus, Jesus heard the, 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 the depth, the sincerity, and even the faith being expressed in his cry. The faith being expressed in his cry. And he said, the Bible says, he stopped. And Jesus will stop when we call upon him, when we reach out to him. Praise God. He will stop. He's stopping even now. Even now. To touch your heart, to touch your life, and to refresh you. Praise God. And he commanded him to be brought to him. So Jesus commanded that they bring this man, whoever he is, bring him to me. And when he came near, he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? And that's a good question. I mean, people may think, well, isn't it obvious, Jesus, this man is blind. He wants to see. But you know what? There are two things. One is Jesus wants us to express. God wants us to express our need to him. We must know what that need is. And we want, and we, he wants us to, to tell him what it is. Um, what do you want me to do for you? Sometimes we may have one need in our lives, but we're asking for something else too. But the bigger need is there. Are we not addressing that? So he says, he said, Lord, let me recover my sight. I want to name it. Let me recover my sight. James said, you have not because you ask not. We need to ask. We need to be specific with God. You need a job? Lord, I need a job. You need healing? I need healing, God, in my eyes, in my in my throat, in my in my joints or whatever. Um I need a job in this area. I need a job um this distance away from my home or you know what we have got to be specific. We've got to be specific. Lord, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Recover your sight. Your faith 
has made you well. Your faith, not in faith, but your faith in me, Jesus, has made you well. You called out to me, you reached out to me, and here I am offering you healing. And the Bible says, immediately he recovered his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Immediately he recovered his sight. And I thank God that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is still in the miracle working business. Don't you believe the lies of the devil? Don't you believe even the cessationists, people who are saying that they are Christians and they believe Jesus does not change. He has not changed. He will not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's still in the healing business. And Lord, even right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to minister, to minister. Minister, Lord, to those who need your healing touch, those who need your healing power, wherever they are right now, God, whatever they're struggling with, whatever they're dealing with, I ask you to intervene and to minister them and let faith come alive in their hearts, oh God, for we serve a great, powerful, wonderful, almighty God who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And I give you praise today and I pray for healing for my brother and my sister right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, for your intervention in their lives and for a miracle in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.